The Caudron G4 was really a pre-war design. French manufacturers René and Gaston Caudron built airplanes prior to the First World War, and when the war began, their aircraft were turned into military airplanes. There were only two Caudron G4 aircraft in existence. One is in the Musée de l'Air in Paris, and one is here in the National Air and Space Museum. The type is very significant because it was used as a bomber, it was used as a reconnaissance airplane, as well as a trainer. The G4 is one of the oldest multi-engine airplanes in existence and one of the oldest bomber type aircraft in existence. The Caudron G4 was one of the earliest airplanes in the Smithsonian collection. It was on display in the Arts and Industry Building for many years. It had deteriorated a fair amount. At the time we decided to do the work on the airplane, it was thought we may have to do a complete restoration. But due to the fact that the aircraft was covered with linen instead of cotton, the fabric had held up much better and we opted to try and do a preservation attempt on it and keep it as original as possible. When we got the airplane from the Army, they had taken all of the engines, propellers, and instruments off. So one of our biggest problems was to come up with original parts in the collection. We were able to come up with one original prop from a person in England, but uh, I had to carve the second prop and build it from scratch. The only way that you can really tell the two apart is that the propeller I made has a slightly shinier, nicer looking uh, paint job and decal on it because it's not as old and weathered.